Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to Shared Extensions. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. This is just going to be a general reading for you guys for the next surprise coming up in your life, okay? So we are going to go ahead and go over here. Any information you guys need, you can find it within the description box down below. I do have personals um, open right now until Thursday, May the 27th. So if you guys are interested in those, um, there should be information in the description box about that okay so Taurus we're going to go ahead and get started here for you guys and see what we get okay wow okay your overall energy is the strength card I feel like you guys are awakening something very powerful here Something that's either been lying dormant within you. This could be somebody else awakening this, by the way, or waking this up, whatever you want, however you want to put it here. All right. Some of you guys could have some Leo or Sagittarius in your chart. You might be dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius. Um, so we are going to go ahead and get started here for you all. You're starting off with the Three of Pentacles, Mars and Capricorn. Okay. So I feel like you are feeling very inspired by something. Let's go ahead and look at that. What's going on with the Three of Pentacles? I feel like for some of you guys, some kind of news comes in. Could be about a Leo. It could involve a Leo. Okay. You could have some Leo in your chart. Give me the Three of Pentacles. I feel like some kind of news comes in that inspires you. Queen of Cups energy here. Um, that's a Cancer card. All right. So this could definitely involve a connection that you're in because you have the Queen and the King of Cups. It doesn't have to though. Okay. Um, but I feel like you've been very patient with yourself, all right? Uh, that's what I'm getting here. Some kind of work you've been putting in. I feel like you've been very patient with yourself. Maybe you've been dragging your feet a little bit with something. With that Queen of Cups, um, I feel as you actually putting in a lot of focus on something that you've been trying to create. You know, she is very focused on that cup there. So I feel like there's something where you're feeling inspired all of a sudden. It's because of some kind of news that comes in, you guys. You have the Four of Swords here as well. Jupiter and Libra. Let's go ahead and look at that. This could be about a person who is not well off, well, Four of Swords, Five of Pentacles, or this could be something that you are trying to prevent. Okay, give me the Four of Swords for Taurus. Next surprise, Four of Swords. King of Pentacles, okay, Taurus energy. So yeah, I feel like you're trying to provide for something here. You're trying to be a provider of some sort. Some of you guys, this could be a pregnancy, okay? Some of you guys, this could be a pregnancy that's coming in here. We have the Seven and the Six of Pentacles out here. So those are cards of planting seeds, seeds growing, things developing, okay? King of Pentacles can be a provider or a father as well. So um, you could be a mother, but you know, it's a masculine energy. That's why I say a father, okay? Um, but yeah, I do feel like you're waking something up here with that Four of Swords and the King of Pentacles, okay? You're actually physically touching something here. What's going on with that? Yeah, I definitely feel like it's something physical that's that's causing you to wake up, okay? So this could be a person. This could have something to do with a job. Um, but I feel like there is some kind of physical change um, that's causing something to wake up within you. The number four could be significant to you guys right now. Um, you have three fours showing out here now. Okay, four of pentacles, four of swords, and the four of wands. The only thing you don't have is the four of cups which is a card of not really being satisfied, all right? So um, I like it that there's not really a whole lot of resistance to whatever this truth is that's coming in, all right? You have the King of Cups here as well, Scorpio and Aries. I don't feel like there's really a whole lot of resistance to it because I feel like it's been happening for a long time, okay? Some of you guys, this could be you meeting a person for the first time here, okay? I'm just getting a lot of physical touch for some reason, okay? What's going on with the King of Cups? Queen of Wands. Got a lot of court cards out here. Aries energy, okay? Um, so yeah, I feel like you're tackling something here. With the Queen of Wands, that is a card of somebody who's bold, fearless, goes after what they want or what they need. With that King of Pentacles energy being out here and the Queen of Cups, I feel like you're combining so many different elements right now. Um, you're acting out of so many different spaces, all right? Uh, with that King of Cups, though, normal, most... Mostly, I feel like that's something that you have buried, okay? And the, that's why there's not a whole lot of resistance to it because it's just it's just going to come up regardless because of whatever this is that's happening here. For some of you guys, I feel like it could be a pregnancy, all right? Whether you're pregnant or you've gotten somebody pregnant, somebody around you is pregnant, okay? Um, for others of you, I feel like this could have something to do with a job loss, all right? Um, and for others of you, I feel like it's your environment, some, somewhere you're moving. 
some of you, I feel like it is somebody you're meeting for the first time, okay? But there's something something with physical, with the physical, okay? So that King of Cups, I feel, is something rising to the surface. And that Queen of Wands is you tackling it, getting on top of it, okay? So some kind of realization. Um, five of Pentacles. That is Mercury and Taurus. Give me the Five of Pentacles, please. Okay, I'm getting two for that. The Ace of Wands and the Seven of Cups. I feel like you're fighting temptation with something here. All right, so for a lot of you guys, I feel like there's something that you're going to have to quit, okay, um, in order to have to have whatever this is that you're after. Um, I was going to say in order to have this awakening, so that's really interesting. I feel like there is a realization um, that you have to do a certain thing. You do that certain thing, and then there's an awakening, okay? Um, so the Ace of Wands, that's what I feel that is, a spark, an awakening. Um, and we also have that Seven of Cups. There's some kind of temptation here as well that I feel you fighting, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what that temptation is about. Some of you guys are feeling neglected, but you're, there's an energy of holding yourself back, okay? But I feel like that's going to be worth it in the end. You have that Ten of Cups right underneath it. I feel like it's going to be worth it in the end, okay? Um, so that Four of Pentacles, I also feel as you protecting, all right? Um, holding tightly to something. So we have the Seven of Pentacles as well. So that is um, Saturn in Taurus. What's going on here with the Seven of Pentacles? I feel like you're also scoping things out, looking at your options. Like, you don't have time to give in to temptation. It's truthfully how that feels for a lot of you guys. There's just a lot going on in this reading. Give me the Seven of Pentacles. The Emperor, Aries energy. Some of you guys could be building a business. It's going to have something to do with the business that you've been trying to build for a long time. Maybe it's starting to take off with that Queen of Wands energy. Um, but like I said, you know, the, the Emperor represents a father as well. So, um... Yeah, I feel like there's just a huge emphasis here on providing. This could just be you providing for yourself here in the Three of Cups, a harvest, a coming together of some sort, all right? Uh, so, yeah, I feel like you're putting in a lot of work on something, all right? You're activating something is what I feel that Ace of Wands energy is. Same with the Temperance card. Emphasis on the third eye, okay? Sag energy there. You're healing a lot of different things here. But I feel like it's due to something physical that's coming in, and I'm not sure what that is. It's some kind of physical message, but you have a strength card. I feel like you're you're really you're having a lot of discipline here with whatever this is that's coming in. Give me the temperance, or because of it, I should say. It's pretty much like an energy of just doing what you have to do regardless, okay? Regardless of how hard it is, the full card. Yeah, because I feel like you've had your freedom, all right? Not really, I don't really want to put it that way. Not really had your freedom, but you've had your fun, okay? Uh, in regards to not taking responsibility for something here, all right? Whether this is your healing, you know? Whether this is you just being on your own. Um, but I do feel like the full card is basically you and a childlike energy. So this is you moving into a more wise, higher state of consciousness, basically, with the um, temperance card, okay? Doesn't mean that you can't have fun here, Taurus, so I want to repeat that, all right? Because I do feel like that could potentially be the energy you're moving into, so don't don't move into that energy there where you feel like you can't have fun. You have to be in this emperor space at all times. You can be full card and emperor, okay? You can be both of those. Uh, we have the four of wands here, Venus and Aries, okay? What's going on with that four of wands? The nine of wands, moon and Sagittarius. Hmm, interesting. There's a, certain, a lot of you guys, there's this fast action because there's a certain way that you don't want things to be. Like if you're having a child, you're like, I can't be in this energy. I'm not ready for this. You know, there's a lot that you're doing, you know, to get to get things done because you're looking at certain, um, at other foundations. Or, you know, maybe you're looking back on past foundations and you're like, can't have this happen, can't have that happen. You know, it's things like that that I feel with that nine of wands is you kind of looking back um, on things and realizing how you don't want them to be that way, you know, for your children or for you, for your future, right? It's something like that here where you're realizing what you don't want out of the situation and exactly what you're going to build instead, okay? So that strength card there, yeah, I feel like this is speaking volumes towards that energy there. We have the Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo. What's going on with the Six of Wands? It's a card of high honor, recognition, success, achievement, victory, so let's look at it. Give me the Six of Wands for Taurus. What is that? The death card. Huge transformation. You guys, you're making huge changes here because of this information that's coming in, okay? And like I said, I feel like that's, this is representing an awakening of some sort. Could have something to do with a water sign or a message that comes in from a water sign. 
um, maybe a message about connections, about love, or a message from spirit, okay? Uh, you do have the death card here after all, okay? Um, but yeah, I do. I feel like you're activating something huge for you, for yourself, okay? Um, or you're starting on it finally. You're finally committing to it. Maybe even kind of dragging your feet, like I said, um, and moving very slowly with something. But you find the right approach and you stay on top of it. And it creates a lot of success for you. You have the Six of Pentacles here. You're able to provide for yourself, provide for others if need be, okay? Moon and Taurus, Moon and Libra energy there with that. Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Cups, yes. And I feel like your guides, your angels, your ancestors, they're backing you so much with whatever this is, okay? Because you have the Nine of Cups and the Six of Cups here. If you look at all those cups surrounding that figure in the card there, that represents a support system, okay? Angels, ancestors, guides, all right? So you're getting exactly what you wish for, not only because it's what you wish for, but because you're putting the work for it, okay? And because you did, you know, you did the work with healing, not only just physical work, but you healed a lot of things from your past with that Six of Cups energy showing up there, all right? A lot of you guys are going to be coming into alignment with a counterpart here in the month of June, okay? With that King of Pentacles energy showing up here, possibly having a family, possibly sooner than you expected. So that's something that I was seeing here uh, showing up in the card. So and um, that's not something that you want. You got the Strength card here as well, Discipline, but you do have the Ten of Cups right under that. So you know, um, whatever it is that you want here. Um, but that's what I'm seeing here for you, Taurus. I do hope that this was helpful. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you want something more tailored to your energy, you're more than welcome to book a personal up until Thursday, May 27th, of course. Um, you could also watch out for your other signs or check out the link links in the comment section for um, some other readings that I've done for your sign here recently. But if this is where we part, thank you all so much for watching and supporting me and you enjoy your month. Bye.